Hey everyone, King 77 here, here to do a video with my Sprint Galaxy Nexus on how to manually force the over-the-air update on your device to Jelly Bean Android 4.1. I do uh, want to make a quick note that this might not work for every single Sprint Galaxy Nexus. It has been reported by many people that this method does work for them to uh, push the over-the-air update. This is for people not yet that have not yet received the over-the-air update. Uh, I'm completely stocked. Uh, with stock recovery, you do need to make sure you do have stock recovery. Otherwise, go ahead and go into settings, scroll down, go to about phone, and you also need to make sure that you are on FG01. So down at the bottom, you will see build number FG01, the last four digits. That would be the latest uh, sprint update before Jelly Bean. So you need to make sure you're on that to receive the over the air and accept the over the air update. Uh, baseband version, both of them need to make sure you say FG01 as well. So once you have double checked that, you are ready to go. So what we can do is, uh, first of all, you can actually go back into the settings and go to about phone and you can check yourself, go to system updates and see if uh, yours is being pushed. You can hit check now, you'll see last check for update 9.15 a.m. and it has not uh, shown. So hopefully this does work on my device. I haven't tried it yet myself. Again, this has worked, uh, reported to work for uh, a number of people that that is why I'm doing a video. So hopefully it does work for me. So first of all, what you need to do is go ahead and go into settings and then go to apps. And once you are in apps, go ahead and select all. And now once you hit all, you need to find Google Framework. So go ahead and scroll down. You'll see Google Services Framework right there. Select it and then hit clear data and hit OK. And then hit force stop and hit OK. So now hit force stop, hit OK. Now go ahead and back out of that. Go ahead and hit back, go ahead and hit back. And now what you can do is go back into settings and double check, go to about phone and now try and do a system update. And uh, you can go ahead and hit check now for a system update and hopefully this does work. It says uh, last check for an update on 1231. So it did not work, which is okay. There's some a couple of other things we can actually try. So it looks like that did not work. Uh, but now what we can do is actually go back into settings and then go back into apps and do the same thing again. Go ahead and hit all Google services framework um, and then go ahead and do the same thing. Go ahead and clear data out of it and then force stop it as well. So we could do that once more. And once we do that, now what we could do is go ahead and wait a minute or two, go, wait a couple minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit here for two minutes and then I will be back. All right, now after waiting for a couple minutes, we are ready to go. Now what we have to do is actually go into the dialer and we need to type in a dial code. So the code we need to type in is star pound, star pound, and then 2432, 2432, and then 546, 546, and then hit pound star, pound star. And then you'll see up at the top, it gives you a quick notification that says check in succeeded. And there we go, so now we are done. Now what you can do is go into settings and check and see if the system update is being pushed. So go ahead and hit check now. And looks like it is not working, unfortunately. Again, this isn't gonna work for everyone, but it has been reported to work for some people. So it looks like it is not, uh, it's not working for me. What I can try and do is reboot the phone, keep trying these different tasks, these different methods, continually uh, clear the Google uh, services framework. I can just go into apps all and just keep clearing it and try different things. Uh, that's just the main uh, method that has been reported to work for stop clear data. You can try and do it right away, go back into settings, about phone, and see if the system update will work. Um, no guarantee that it will, but I mean, it is worth a shot, especially if you have a Sprint Galaxy Nexus on stock and you're waiting for that over the air update, as unfortunately it did not work for me. So it did not work for me. I'm actually still going to upload this video even though it did not work just because it has helped some people. So I do want to help. I mean, even if this video helps one person, I know it has uh, succeeded. So it's worth a shot, especially because it's uh, taking a little while for the over the air update to roll out. So definitely be sure to try it out and let me know if it works. Uh, be sure to leave a comment, let everyone know if it works or not. Even if it doesn't work, let everyone know. Uh, you could be like me and it might not work. Again, you can keep trying. I might continue to try this stuff um, 
I might continually just try and clear uh, Google service framework and then check for an update. Just keep doing that for a little while. So we will see. Uh, but other than that, though, that's that's really it. Uh, again, hopefully this does work for you. Leave a comment. Let everyone know if it does work. Be sure to subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. I will be doing a review video of the official update. So I will once I get that, I will do a review on it. But uh, as always, thanks for watching. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up.